Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Well, I better see where this trail leads. like a fool after he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades a crazy AI that wants to kill everything he couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it and now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull see where this trail leads. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? Put up with more of a self righteous bull. be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? 
every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell us? Be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a feral facility. Or a zero dawn? Silence Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia? Data error. Structures disintegrate. Right. Because that would have been easy. What did Silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been... hollowed out. Silence interrogated. And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on... Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. Bunch of crazed AIs. Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah. 
Aloy does. Then you are a deserted extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out plans to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact, known viable biospheres aborted in years two, five, four, two, six, one, two, one, six, eight. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. Connected. State name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging Extinction Protocol. see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason and I... And using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts? Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Just to... confirm... Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system, restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. And there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? 
Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a super-intelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence. And our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say thank you. And I say, you're welcome. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Silva. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. Here I am! Come and get me! I'm tinkering with Hades. Tinkering? More like extracting invaluable data. There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. How I detached the processing warp from the horse in the first place. 
great. I can step back if I will. Finally. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. Place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Well, this is familiar. Making my way through ancient, crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus? Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Too short. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. <sighs> Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. Energy cell. That did it. It's not going to budge from here. Well, 
What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. This console shut down. This looks like the same device from the other room. Maybe I can use the energy cell here. My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next. here. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rapscallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. 
Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude. As you and I are well aware of. data here from Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of map. Looks like this is connected to the door. Who needs a code to open? There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? Deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had There's nothing to do with it. Getting close. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. What if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. <laughs> Elizabeth sounded sad at the end. I think this was personal.
so much for the f Hold for identity scan. Like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Back up. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, how do I get up? That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this Recluse Spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. Need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Alert! 
Intruders, alert. Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. <laughs> Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, Beta! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. I wish I could bring you with me. Hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. Don't need. Break the coupling 
was holding the thing up. This kills all mine. These aren't training guns. Gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. Gotta cut the main stem. I'll watch you suffer. I need to shoot the couplings holding up the stem. Few couplings holding it up. Yeah. It looks like there's two more couplings on the stem. Fight me! Not that gun machine! Yeah. Hands are silent. You got uh. spunk, girl. I don't uh. wish it didn't have to end this way. Have all the fun. What was that? Me killing what you wanted dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search.
Who are those specters? I better stay out of their sight. Some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains it's west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. 
an Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. There's trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in. Forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. Wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. 
Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They've altered year by year. And once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? It sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saul. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... No. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? Hunt? We should trade. So, what do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Antaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Utaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes! Saw them just today, running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. I need to meet Varl and Zoe in Plainsong. 
Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. We can't let 